Okay, so I've had a ton of you message me asking me if I've seen this movie or if I could talk about it. You know, are you going to review it? And I'm like, okay, okay, I wasn't going to just, first of all, I've never even heard of it before. I didn't even know it was coming out. But, you know, as always, you guys send me on to these movies I've never heard of before. So I, I found it. <laughs> I rented it. And I watched the trailer before, okay? And I'm just, I'm just going to reenact for you my initial reaction to, to watching the trailer of this film. So just, just give me one sec here so I can... I want to get this right. Um, <clears throat> hang on. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, you ready? All right. This is my initial reaction when I saw this trailer. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So tonight we're talking about fear. Forget everything and run. <sighs> I don't know what you want me to say about this movie, guys. I honestly don't, okay? Like, if there's some positive from it, I mean, the direction is, is, is good. The, the, the acting is, is relatively good. I didn't have issues with any of the acting. It's just everything else. It's, it's <laughs> if this movie was, was released 25 years ago, it would be a fucking classic. It probably would. But the fact that there's, oh, I don't know, 10 fucking million other movies that are the exact same as this movie, I spent more time on my phone playing video games than I honestly did watching this movie. Why? Because I was, first of all, fucking bored out of my mind with it. And second of all, because I knew what was going to happen 20 minutes before anything fucking happened. It's... Uh, God, I don't know. <laughs> okay, listen. It's written and directed by Jeff Reisner and Jason Tobias. Okay, Jason Tobias also stars in this movie. He plays the father, Ethan. Marcy Miller plays the wife, Josephine, and then they have their two kids. Okay, let me read the synopsis. When a terrifying pathogen is released, one family will fight to save their children against a band of marauders, hell-bent on revenge. Okay, like... That's the synopsis. It, it's, it's the same as fucking 10 million other movies that have gotten released in the last, oh, I don't know, 10 years. That's all it is. That's all it is. I mean, the opening scene, the father is teaching the son how to shoot a rifle. Oh, we, wow. We haven't seen that before. Zombies come, or in this case, one zombie comes. You know, there's a scuffle between the dad and the zombie. He gets bit a little bit. And then they have to deal with him slowly changing into a zombie, all the while trying to, to protect his family and, you know, his, his daughter, who they have, they've, they've secured this house, okay, kind of, and, and <laughs> the daughter is, is sick, okay, she, she's got this, this virus, but she hasn't fully turned, so they keep her kind of drugged up and on this, this breathing apparatus so she doesn't fully change, and they're waiting for help to come which is never going to come. Okay, that's the first act when we learn about all this stuff. Second act, here come the fucking hillbillies. The asshole hillbillies come in, led by Ma Clampett. Do you know what I mean? And they want what this family has, and they're going to scavenge the house and kill the people instead of just, you know, it's, it's all been done before, man. All this movie is, is a fucking extended version of almost any Walking Dead episode any Fear the Walking Dead episode. It's just, it's all been done before. And nothing, everything is predictable. You know, there's a scuffle in the second act. You know, some people get killed. The father gets, uh, you know, they, they, they the, 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 the lady who runs this group and then one of her, I think it's her brother. Okay, they're, they're the last to survive. So they, they tie the mother up and they say they're going to kill her, blah, 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 whatever. You know, so they, they decide that they're going to take the fucking her brother back to the fork where they this band of people live because they have the fucking cure that can cure their daughter. So, I mean, let me let me just guess. Just take two seconds and guess what's going to happen. You probably guessed right. The husband and the brother go back to the fucking fort. He's got them, you know, at gunpoint. 
they turn the tables and they capture the husband, okay? <laughs> so he's, he's hung up there like normal. So what is the brother doing? The same as any other movie. Instead of just killing him right away. No, no, there's like a 15 minute piece of conversation back and forth. And he explains exactly why he's going to kill him. And all this fucking mumbo jumbo that we've heard a million times. And he waves his gun in his, or his, his knife in his face and all that. And I'm on my video game. Okay, playing this, and I'm like, look up, I see 10 seconds of this fucking scene, and I'm like, yep, the father's going to escape, and he's going to kill that guy. Oh, yep, yeah, 15 minutes later, hey, guess what? The father escaped, and he killed the fucking brother. Like, <laughs> oh, like, come on, man. Like, it's just, you know, and the other thing, too, is this movie is an hour and 45 minutes long, okay? It is so fucking long. It's like... The opening, I'll give them the opening scene, even though it's been done a thousand times before. You know, there was a little action, a little tension, and that's because of the direction and the acting, okay? Again, I've said this already. The direction is fine. The acting is fine in this movie. It's just the fucking story that's been told a million times. The opening scene is fine, and then that's it. You know, there's a, like a, you don't see any more fucking zombies till the very end of the movie, and even that is quick, and it's predictable. You know exactly what's going to happen. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, but trust me you know exactly what's going to happen at the end because we've seen it a bazillion fucking times. So I don't know. You know, if this was like a standalone movie and there was no, you know, the shit fest of The Walking Dead for the last 25 years, thank God that fucking crap is coming to an end. And now we have to endure Fear the Walking Dead. It's just, you know, and then all these fucking like movies that have taken their themes from those two shows and it's just over and over and over that's all this movie is man that's all this movie is a family is trying to survive in the fucking woods in this cabin they get overrun by by or they get attacked by these hillbilly fucktards that want their shit and they kind of have to deal with zombies once in a while it's the same old shit so i don't know anyways to give this one a rating like, I don't know, I, I'll give it a 5 out of 10, okay? Like I said, it's well acted, um, it, you know, the direction is there, the, the cinematography is okay, but it's just, it's nothing new. You're going to spend your time, unless you have never seen a zombie movie before, you'll, you'll love this fucking movie, I guarantee it. But if you're like me, and you grew up watching zombie movies, and you've seen 10 million of them, it's just, ever since The Walking Dead came on TV, the first two seasons were great, and then everything went downhill, zombie movies included. It, it, it's the truth. You can argue with me if you want. And again, I know in the comments section, people, oh, what about this movie? What about that? Listen, I get it. There's been some good zombie movies come out, but 95% of them are just regurgitated stories that have already been fucking told. There's nothing new here. So... I don't know. I was really disappointed with this movie. I, and then I've, I've said this before. I've almost stopped watching all zombie movies because they're all the fucking same. They really are. So I don't know if that's more of a review or just my biased opinion, but that's, that's how I feel. And you guys wanted me to talk about it. So anyways, it's called Fear. It's out now. Go watch it and prove me wrong. You know what I mean? If you think I'm over-exaggerating, go rent it and, and come back here and let me know what you think of it, guys. And yeah, until next time, stay scared.